Hi kids, so today we are going to do an intentional teaching card called um, Putting Puzzles Together, okay? And I don't have any puzzles at home, and so I decided to download this app called Puzzle Kids. Hi, so, i Ruby. If you guys want to, if you guys don't have any puzzles at home, you can download this app as well. So we're going to come over to Yay. Jigsaw Puzzles. Select puzzle. We're going to pick a fun puzzle. Let's say her reading a book. And we're going to, this one looks like it's pretty simple. It's only four Select pieces. So you're going to basically move the pieces over and try and Amazing. fill in. Well done. Fill in the puzzles. Okay. We're going to change the pieces because I think that we need something harder. Oh look, you get to pick a, a prize. All right, I think we need something more difficult. No, I want more pieces. Change pieces. Hold for three seconds. Oh, did I did I give up too early? You can do it. So you can do it between four, six, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, and thirty-six pieces. Okay. So I think I I'm gonna it. do because I'm older and it it will be a little bit harder for me. I'm gonna do 25 pieces, okay? So you can see how it can make it easy and difficult depending upon um, where you're at. So it shows the pieces over here and I can see where um, they should go. And I like connecting the corner pieces in first. Those are my, that's my favorite. And then I like to work around the edge. Um, when I do my puzzles, so Perfect. Good job. I assume that we could probably, oh, maybe not. I guess these guys give you nice. the pieces that you're going to put in next. It didn't go there. I should have looked better. Well we, if done. you look at the pictures, um, you can see where they should attach. Good job. Oh, this one goes there. did this puzzle pretty quickly. So, what I want you guys to do, if you can also, let's see, let's collect our gift. Oh, yeah. we get a duck. Hallelujah. So fun. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna hold down this. Bring it across. You can do different things on here like a shape puzzle, picture mystery, um, drag the picture. So Hi, some of the I things we want to think about is what shape um, do we recognize and can we describe it? Okay. What about this shape puzzle? Let's see what happens. Oh. How long can your child pers persist while doing a puzzle? Do they give up easily? Nice. Or um, well could they do puzzles all day long? You did it. Um, was the child able to grasp and fit the puzzle pieces into the appropriate spaces? So if you have a real puzzle at home, I encourage you to do your own puzzle in real life. If you don't, you can easily download this app and um, and do some kids puzzles. If you want something harder, you can 
um, download a different puzzle app. This is the one that I'm doing right now. And it's got um, fun things as well. Um, oops. Pause. And go away. So for this one, um, I sorted out all of my puzzle pieces between the corners. Um, and these, this was, this is really fun because the puzzles can, um, move around when you tap on them. So I can, I know that that's not the place for it. That doesn't go there. Oh, and when I clicked on it, instantly went to that corner. So I know this corner goes there. It doesn't belong in that corner. It must belong in this corner. Nope. Must go to this one, which means this one goes here. So now I found all my corner pieces. Now I'm going to work on the side pieces. So I can see that this piece right here has a little bit of green and um, and and yellow, more yellow than green. So I'm going to look at these pieces over here that have a side piece. We're not going to pay attention to these ones. And I'm going to see um, if I were to point this piece down, would it fit? Oh, it does. Look, this one right here has a white um, piece and it and it goes in. So I'm looking to see if I can find a piece that when I flip the edge to the end, if it's going to match up. Um, so um, there's lots of cool, fun ways that you guys can do puzzles at home without having puzzles in the home. So I encourage, um, oh, no, that's not the right one. Um, this one has one on both sides. It must be this one. So, um, as you, sorry, my puzzle video cut out just like that. So, um, parents, some of the things that you can do if you're using a real puzzle, um, is you can say things like, um, oh, look, you found a piece that had a soccer ball on it, or what shape do you think you need to look for? um, on the puzzle. Um, yes, you found a circle. It's round like a ball. So as you're looking at the puzzle itself, pointing out the colors, if there's a person on it, oh, this one has a face, you know, maybe we can find the other eye. Or if it's got animals, hey, you know, this pig is pink. Can we find any other pieces that might be pink, um, that will go here? Um, you can also um, say, hey, I noticed that this piece has a straight side and this piece doesn't. Where do you think these pieces will go? Let's sort out um, the pieces from the ones with the straight edges to the ones that don't have straight edges and, um, and kind of go along like that. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know that it wasn't a normal type of video, but, um, puzzles are fun and they can, um, keep your attention for long periods of time. So, um, enjoy. Bye.